What's up, guys? Cabalist back at you with another video. First time in a little bit. Let's get into it. We got the uh, Star Wars Rebels crew from Star Wars Black Series. Well, minus Zeb. Have Kanan right here. Ezra with uh, his Imperial Cadet mask that came with him. Got Hera working on her droid chopper. Got a chopper. I took the legs off of him to kind of look like uh, she was like either making him or repairing him. You have Sabine. I don't have her helmet off because uh, her eyes look a little wonky. So not going to take that. I'm not going to uh, rush showing that. So, but, uh, oh, and this... Hair kit bash I did. Simple thing. I just took the uh, vest part of the jacket from Jen Urso. Put on Hera. Some uh, some props here. Power Rangers Lightning Collection Blaze briefcase. The lightsaber that comes with Ezra. Just put a um, articulated icons ninja silencer on it. The Walgreens exclusive Mr. Fantastic accessory, which is the Ultimate Nullifier. Raw entrance stage piece for a table, of course. And here, this is nothing more than a cable box, because I don't really watch TV. And I don't really watch TV like that. So I have um, a cable box here from when I used to watch TV. Or, and I still do watch TV, but you know what I mean. And then... Just another rack to a shoe rack I have, or shoe shelves. And then, white light, white light. That's kind of, I don't really know why I had those on, but they seem to be doing enough of effect on my picture, so I left them on. Simple white light there. Another simple white light, oh shoot, right there. Real simple, as you can see. And um, recently they revealed that this whole team's gonna get re-released. Oh, and I forgot the accessory with Hera that she's holding. It's just the Beast Morpher Gold Ranger. It's the blaster he comes with. I just put it in her hand because it kind of looked like a uh, Star Wars thing. I don't know. But yeah, they announced that the entire Rebels crew is going to get remade with photo real. Well, aside from Chopper because he can't. And they're making a new Zab. Can't wait for all those to get made. Probably going to buy all of them aside from Chopper and Ezra. But definitely gonna have to get Zeb and probably Sabine. But um, yeah, real simple. Sorry I've been away for so long. This is the start of a new episode, so hope I can pump some more uh, some more videos out for this. All right, peace. What's up, guys? Another shot here. This was for the um, ACBA competition that's happening in the Facebook group. The first theme is alone, so I wanted to have Jack Landers, aka SPD Red, going against the Psycho or Psycho Red, Draken, and uh, Blaze. All these figures are from Lightning Collection. Pretty simple stuff. Just have flight stands on them. Uh, Psycho Red's leg hides his, and then the knee of uh, Draken hides some of his. Jack hides the rest of it. Well, I guess he hides all of it from this angle. And then the way I had it on my camera is I moved Jack over a little bit to block out the uh, stand for Blaze and then use the white hot to block out the rest of it. Real simple stuff. White light, white light on the backdrop. And then two on Jack. Had Jack be the focus. Pretty simple. But uh, like I said, I wanted to get this. I wanted to get these shots coming back. I wanted to get these videos back up. So, uh, yeah, it's on to the next shot. All right, guys, we got another shot here. This one with um, Sam Wilson, Captain America, flying through the sky. So, obviously, we have the uh, Marvel Legends three pack Sam Wilson, Captain America. The wings he comes with, the wings I have on his back, though, are some MCU wings that uh, Delicious Poses sent me. Thank you, brother. And then I have a he's uh, he's propped up with a front with a flight stand, and then I have uh, the polyester fibers here to look like clouds. Raw entrance stage piece, really useful box to prop it up. A cable box, same here. But I had to move this a little at an angle so um, the wing wouldn't be or like the uh, side of the raw entrance stage piece wouldn't really be showing in the shot. Then I have a piece of glass here, or a sheet of glass. 
so I could um, get some, some clouds from up above. Just more polyester fibers. White light here, white light here, white light over the backdrop and the, uh, the clouds right here. Same for this one. This is probably one of the more uh, complicated shots I've done before. Thank you to Alex and Richardson for the advice on it though. Uh, I just really wanted to to do a shot like this with samples of Captain America, especially with a lot of things happening so far in the country. Um, but that was a strong shot for me to do and it's something I wanted to do. But uh, yeah, on to the next shot. Alright guys, another shot here, real simple, we wanted to show you guys how to hide a stand tangibly. Um, I think I've done this before, but I used a different technique this time than I did for the, for the uh, Shang-Chi shot. So let's get into it. Power Ranger Lightning Collection SPD Shadow Ranger, Power Ranger Lightning Collection SPD Red Ranger. And then uh, obviously we just have the uh, white film board on the wall. Got a white light shining on it. Had to angle it down more so I could get it deep into the uh, foam board. And another white light. Then I have one here, one here, kind of shining both on the paper and on the rangers. But then you see here, there's a flight stand that I hid with um, that pillow stuffing I've been telling you guys about. But I also hid kind of the front of it with just a little uh, coffee filter here. That I tore that I tore up a little bit and have Kruger standing on it so um, you can see like the obvious line where it stops and where the actual paper begins. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys this shot, real easy, but um, really like how it came out. This might be my entry for a metallics competition. By the time this goes up, uh, that competition will probably be over. But yeah, just a real simple shot. Wanted to show you guys how to hide a stand. And on to the next one. Peace. All right, guys, um, another shot here. This one's for Summer Shots, the uh, ACBA event that's happening. And this theme is Girl Power. So I have Captain Marvel obviously about to land um, in front of like some women and they're cheering her on. <clears throat> Pretty simple stuff. I guess you could say it's kind of predictable. But I really actually did have this shot in mind for Sam Wilson, Captain America. But it wasn't really working. I had this, much, uh, this idea like a few months back. So I decided to revamp it for, with Carol. Let's get into it. The uh, Marvel Legends, what wave was that? The Marvel Legends Odin build a figure wave. Captain Marvel on an ACBA flight stand. Um, and then you have the Vintage Wave Dazzler, Star Wars Black Series, oh, going from left to right. Vintage Wave Dazzler, Star Wars Black Series Jen Erso. Um, Marvel Legends Man Thing build a figure wave. Jessica Jones. But the head is from the Vintage Week Black Widow, and so are the hands. Um, Marvel Legends Sandman Wave, Ms. Marvel. And the Marvel 3 pack, Kate Bishop Hawkeye. In the back, we have the Tom Bud diorama. Um, I had to prop it up with these raw entrance stage pieces. And I wanted to give the building some color, or at least the windows. So I have um, red poster board. Um, a white light on the ladies, and then a white light here, kind of, there's a white light here, kind of, um, light this side of the building, and then get some light on Carol, and then there's another white light here to light the other side of the building. Real simple, really like how this came out. Um, hopefully this does well for summer shots, and I really like how this came out, so, um, on the next shot, peace. Alright guys, back with another shot. Um, it's been real Ranger heavy, so I wanted to do some Marvel stuff again. Decided to go with Doctor Doom. I figured that I wasn't a huge fan of when I first got him, but I freed up the ankles. A lot better, now he can actually stand. I could do some more stuff with him. So we have the uh, Marvel Legends Fantastic Four wave Doctor Doom, of course. Um, this dial wall that you see here is from Blue Sand on Instagram. Wanted to use it here for uh, Doom Stock. And then... What you see behind him is just a um, like the background piece from the Articulated Icons Ninjas. 
One of these, as you can see, the interior of the building. Got a white light there. Um, a yellowish light here. Honestly, only two lights on this one. Real simple, but I love the way it came out. So, um, hope I can do more Marvel stuff. Oh, and another thing, though, about um, the Articulated Icons backing. Had to prop it up here, and I had to prop the Doom up because this wall is a little high. So I have a really useful box and a remote to one of my colored lights. Um, helping Doom stand. And then here, I put um, a piece of red wax on the base of this AI backdrop. Put on our entrance stage piece. Prop that up with some Young Justice bases. And then so it didn't fall over, I put um, another raw entrance stage piece, kind of like to support the uh, backdrop. Uh, the orange backdrop, was, I was going to have him looking out, and you can see the sky. But then um, my homie Alex and Richardson told me I don't really need it, so I was able to keep the sky out of it, pretty much. And just get Doom in the building. But yeah, I really like how this shot came out. Um, I remember how fun it is to shoot Marvel Legends. So we're going to see a few more Legend shots probably in this episode. All right, peace. All right, guys, another shot here, a rarity for me, a DC shot, but, you know, I've been wanting to do this shot for a long time, so I said, you know what, let's finally do it. So what we have here is the Mattel DC Universe um, Kid Flash from Young Justice. I had this shot for a long time, but I'm not a huge fan of the articulation, so I never really uh, took a picture with him before, but since I really wanted to do this, I decided to bust him out. So, um, here we go. Like I said, the, um, Mattel DC Universe Young Justice Kid Flash is probably really hard to find now, but, um, if you guys, if you guys can find for a good price, then go ahead and pick them up, I would say, if you're a huge fan of Young Justice. Um, <clears throat> the destroyed rock base under him came with the figure. So did this lightning streak. Now, if you look here, you see that tab, right? Right on, right on the streak effect. It's supposed to plug in to this, but it's too. Uh, the streak is too long for the base, so I had to extend it. I used some uh, red wax, put it on the flight stand, and then put some red uh, red wax on Kid Flash. There you go. You guys can see. So, real simple. Use the. Uh, <clears throat> The base of my Tom Bud diorama, so it looked like there was an existing road there or something that he was tearing up. <clears throat> white light on the uh, backdrop, another white light on the backdrop, just some white foam board, and then a white light on Kid Flash, and then same here, another white light on Kid Flash. We can get that. Yeah, and then another white light on Kid Flash. Had to shoot it low, so you couldn't see the uh, the peg on the base. Or where the um, rock base started. So I shot it lower like this. But um, yeah, I really like how this shot came out. Really like shooting this DC. Uh, really like shooting DC again. Hopefully I can do that more when the Mayfax Batman drops it. Um, I can start building my DC collection again. But um, yeah, just you know, wanted to experiment here, do some different techniques. Real, um, just you know, that's the way. That's the way you grow. That's where you can improve is by uh, trying stuff and doing new things, pushing yourself, trying new limits. All right, peace. All right, guys, final shot of the episode here. Finally able to complete my my comic book, All New Different Avengers, because I got Jay Foster Thorne pretty recently. So I decided to shoot this team. They look great together. Let's get into it. Uh, here we have the Marvel Legends, Jay Foster Thor, and the Marvel Legends said was in Captain America. And if you read the comic, you know they were in a relationship. So you have Jane pretty much talking to Sam like, hey, don't worry about me. Like, you know about my condition. I'm going to be fine. I have to do this. And then you have the younger uh, characters, Kamala and Miles, pretty much talking like, oh my god, are they like together? And then you have Tony, 
which is the Marvel Legends um, Black Panther Wave Iron Man, looking down at um, Kamala and Miles, kind of like, did he really just ask that question? And then you have Vision looking on like, are you going to like talk to them about that? And then you have Sam, who definitely overheard uh, the Marvel Legends, Sam Alexander Nova. Um, and he probably overheard what they said. He looked over there. And I have Sam here because I needed to cover up the wax on the back of, um, let me get in here, zoom in, of Sam Wilson's um, back. There's wax on his back because I needed something to hold the jetpack in place. So, and I was showing, so I just put Sam Alexander Nova right there. And you can't even really see it. I don't have, and you can see, this is really just posing. Everyone needed some space, gave him some space. And then it's just a plain um, blue backdrop with two white lights on it. And I get that idea from Michael Wisman. If you don't know who Michael Wisman is, um, he's one of my biggest inspirations. Please look him up on Instagram. You're going to love his art. So like a four light set up, one white light, another white light, one white light, another white light. Got two on the backdrop, two on the figures. This is what I call subtle posing, where it's very character based and you have to like make sure everyone's pose is a little bit different, but it's mostly vanilla at the same time. It conveys emotion and tells a story through just basic human um, movements and gestures. But uh, yeah, it's probably the last shot of the episode. Please be ready for my summer shots video. I might have a haul video too. What I got them recently, so you'll see Jane Foster Thor in there. And then you'll see um, one or two things I'm getting in later. But uh, yeah, love you guys. Peace.